Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Starczewski and today I have a new talk for you. Uh, I want to show you how we can use Cypress to automate K6 scripts recording. So that's the problem that, well, maybe not a problem, but a challenge that many of performance testers or performance engineers have that, you know, we need to record user sessions and then translate uh, basically the HTTP requests into a test script and replaying user sessions manually is sometimes a very tedious task and we can use tools to, to do that so for instance we can write uh, automation in selenium uh, and then intercept sto those requests somehow and you know organize them in in scripts or we can use cypress and we can record uh, traffic automatically as well, and then send it to some kind of an editor, which is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you how to write uh, a script that automates user session, and it's going to be in Cypress, and then how to use k uh, 6 browser uh, recording plugin in order to automatically save the requests. Uh, from Cypress and send them over to K6 script editor in the cloud. Okay, and that's easy and that's actually very efficient. So uh, first thing that we need is uh, we need to install uh, an extension that's called CRX Extractor Downloader. I'm going to remove that because I have installed that before. And I'm going to go to Chrome Web Store and show you how it's done. So we need that because this will allow us to download the binary for other plugins for Chrome. So the one that we need is called K6 Browser Recording. Now, when you go here and use this extractor plugin, you'll be able to download the zip file. And that's something that we are going to do. So I'm going to save it in here. Okay. Just give it a different name. Okay, it's here, let's unzip it. So the reason we are downloading this plugin is because when Cypress opens up the Chrome, it's not the same Chrome as I'm using as a user. So even if you can see here, I have already installed this plugin manually to my browser. Cypress will run a different Chrome or maybe a Chrome with different settings. So I'm downloading this plugin because I will order Cypress to load up the extension from the hard drive. So K6 browser recorded will be uh, loaded to Cypress come from that place. And that's why we had uh, that's why we uh, had to do it. Okay, um, what now? There's one thing we are going to need for us to be successful, and this is an account in K6 Cloud. Uh, you can sign up for it, and it's free of charge if you just want to use the editor. Uh, I'm connecting it to my GitHub account. And here I can find all my previous previously recorded uh, scripts. Uh, something we are going to need is uh, the login to the cloud, because in the PowerShell we'll execute exactly that command. Okay, login here, and now my context is set, so my PC knows that I'm connected to K6 Cloud account. Okay, so we are here. We're also in the place where I have my sample Cypress test. Sample Cypress test uh, looks like this, and this is what you get when you install Cypress initially. This is my test that will do some kind of user action against the JSON placeholder page. Uh, the thing that we need to change is in plugins index, we need to instruct Cypress to load the extension from the hard drive. Uh, so I save my extension to that path, and here I probably have something old. I'm going to change that, and that should work now. This is something you need to do, okay? And this will secure us, uh, so when Chrome starts, Cypress starts Chrome, the extension is loaded. Um, 
just for sake of completeness, this is how my Cypress JSON looks like. I also enabled Chrome Web Security, uh, disabled Chrome Web Security, and I set base URL to the JSON placeholder uh, page. Now, how should the uh, uh, test look like for Cypress? Um, so basically, this is a test. This is just one test, and it's important because Cypress resets the HTTP state between tests, and uh, we don't want that, right? So everything we do, we want to be in one session. That's not how Cypress operates by default. So remember to put all your steps into one Cypress test. It's, it's the easiest solution. Now, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm going to the main page of JSON placeholder page, then wait some user think time, and then just click on the guide link on the page, and then just wait some more just to observe what happens. Uh, the things that I've added here are the messages uh, that get displayed at the beginning. So I'm informed that uh, it's okay to start K6 recording and I can take manual action on Cypress Chrome. I actually can hit the button and I can also uh, stop the recording when it's done. So that's something that uh, that's why I'm making pauses in here. And for that, I'm using Cy intercept functionality. This basically intercepts any request. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm inventing some kind of URL, case 16 info, it doesn't exist, but I'm also intercepting it uh, like uh, immediately when, when the requesting is made. And what's returned to my browser is it's just an HTML message displaying me, um, displaying me that information. So th that's kind of easy. Uh, let's see how it works. We are here. Uh, we have initiated K6 um, profile. Now we can start our Cypress. It's probably going to take a while when you start it the first time. Oh, it's it's quite fast. And here we are presented with a, a test selection screen. I'm going to run my test. Okay, and you see this is my message. That's the time for me to go here and start recording. And now what, what happens uh, is the actual uh, user session, which I automated, which, which is very simple in that case, but you can make it anything. So we go to uh, just on placeholder page, we display it, and then we click on the guide link, which you can see right here. Uh, and then it's done. So in this case, it's a very simple session. Uh, it might take a bit longer than if you did that with Selenium because uh, there is no cache, so everything is actually downloaded the first time. Okay, we navigated to the guide, and now I got the information. I can stop. Okay, I stop, and then I should be redirected to K6 um, editor. And here, if I accept the defaults and I save, and all the requests that I've made and I'm interested in are here. And I can actually modify them or switch to a script view and then copy paste them into my K6 script and run it from there. So as you can see, it's extremely easy. If you if you use that strategy, it's really extremely easy to maintain K6 scripts because uh, we rely on, on the UI and if you write it okay, then even if uh, this communication between front end and back end changes, but not on UI, but basically behind the scenes, then you know we can be running this test uh, every time and we will actually have reflected the changes in here so it's very convenient and it makes uh, scripts maintenance very easy things to remember are that um, cypress has some issues when you navigate between two different sites and for that you probably want to use selenium still and not cypress but Cypress has a very powerful feature of, for instance, uh, intercepting requests. And if sometimes you want to mock something, you actually can mock it on your own right now. Uh, and that's a very cool feature. Uh, and basically, I think that both K6 and Cypress are the tools of the future. And they actually promote this developer experience. And that's why I like it. So everything that I did, I can do also with JMeter and Selenium or any other tool, but Cypress and P6, they kind of play very nicely together. And therefore I recommend that at least you try it out. 
So if you liked uh, what I've been showing to you, then I wanted to tell you that, um, yeah, where where is that? That uh, there's also a version of that instruction published on my Medium profile. So if you prefer to read it, then here it is. You can navigate to my profile and find it. And uh, the test repository that I used um, and uh, the sample test is available on my GitHub repository and it's just here. So you can download it, uh, feel free to do whatever you want with it. Uh, just don't delete it, please. And uh, yeah, I also invite you to connect to me if I have my LinkedIn profile uh, and you know, contact with me or give me, give me, and let me know if you liked it or uh, yeah, what your thoughts are. Thank you and have a nice day ahead and hope to talk to you soon.